This is um, a clip from Louder with Crowder. Personally, I think, maybe I'm in the minority here, but I legitimately think this relationship between Brian Callen and Stephen Crowder is doomed to fail. But in a good way. Because I feel like Brian Callen for the longest time has gotten away with murder. Because he's so lazy and does the bare minimum. The bare minimum and he's super lazy, right? And for his entire life, I feel like Brendan Schaub has done the majority of the work, of the grunt work. He just turns up, does his findings and keeps it moving. But whenever Callens had to do stuff on his own, it's always failed. He's never consistent with it. Like, you know, look at his podcast. He's got some, he has some show that he did driving with Callan where he was doing a podcast, driving in his car, talking to his friends on loudspeaker and shit. And it just never worked out. Um, he got another podcast he did, the Callan show, didn't work out. He did that show with that guy, Hunter Matz. I think it was like a mixed mental arts or something. Didn't work out. And imagine Brian Callan was doing podcasts at the same time Joe Rogan was. He was doing it super early. So he should be really rich beyond belief when it comes to all that sort of shit. But he's not been consistent enough, never done it well enough, never held it down on his own, always needed some help and assistance. So for me... I find this very humorous and extremely hilarious to see him squirm and be kind of put under some level of professional pressure from Stephen Crowder. I know Stephen Crowder is a woman abusing, wife abusing, pregnant woman abusing piece of shit. I understand that. We all know this. But I do love the fact that he's doing this passive aggressive sassy shit to Brian Callen and making him feel awkward because he's not doing the bare minimum. And this is a really good example of it, right? A really good example of it. Let's play the clip here. Here we go. It's been a while since we've done one of these because it's not election season, but this is a big one tonight. So you can use the, uh, the hashtag, hashtag Crowder Town Hall mm -hmm. uh, tonight. We're going to be streaming at 8 Eastern because we're in Central, so I always have to go through the anguish of adding one. <laughs> They'll be doing a Donald Trump yep. presidential town hall, Republican town hall with GOP voters, and uh, we'll be streaming it live and live fact-checking the fact-checkers. Yeah. We have a promo code going on right now, lighterwithcrowder.com slash mug club. You enter in the promo code Crowder Town Hall, right? Yep. You get 10 yep. Now, the only reason why I left all this intro in, just remember, this is a live stream of Crowder looking over or replaying the Donald Trump um, town hall with CNN, right? So it's a whole live stream. So as you can see from the video, if you listen to this via the, just the sound, I'll describe it to you. It's Crowder and Callan sitting on these comfy chairs. Um, they've got flags behind them. They've set the studio up in a certain way. They've got hashtags. They've got an itinerary list of things to go through on the little flip chart. It's an actual show. And I think the other guy, Dave Landau, said on his podcast when he went with Michael Madison shit, he basically said, you know, Crowder's a bit of a tyrant. He's a stickler for doing prep work, for rehearsing and shit. Again, he's a piece of shit, don't get me wrong, but he's got a way that he does his show, right? He's got a way he does his show, you have to do it the way he does it, and he gives you all the prep you need, blah, 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 blah. So, in this premise, in this exact example, he already gave Callan, I'm sure, a PDF, an email of all the talking points, of all the topics they're going to cover throughout the entire show. All it required was Callan pulling up on his phone and quickly checking it on the way there. Or maybe reading it over a cup of coffee in the morning. Or just looking at it before you went to bed. Just the bare minimum. And of course, kind of do shit. The first time he actually looked through it was at the show. And clearly, Crowder didn't like that. Yep. Crowder Town Hall, you get $10 off. Or we still have the promo. If you send in your screenshot of proof of purchase of any right-leaning streaming service to, uh, what, what is the email? It's a it is. free mug club at Ladder with Crowder. Free mug club at Ladder with Crowder .com. We give you three months free. If you don't like it, you can bounce. So just send in your screenshot. Yeah. Uh, a lot to get to tonight. Mm -hmm. So what do you yes. expect? Comment below. Hit like. If you're, on, <laughs> uh, if you're on YouTube, you should head on over to Rumble. There you go. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before I get to the drinking game rules, we have Gerald A. in studio, and he is sick. He's playing his flu game tonight. I am playing my flu game, but don't worry. I came prepared. That cures all that ails you. Yes. Yeah. I don't think that's actually how it works, but <laughs> maybe it if it's I think it if is. it's mold with spices. Well, maybe some rum would do that. I don't know. Or some I have bourbon. no. Oh yeah, spice rum. That's right. But yeah. not all rum is spice, Gerald. Already, he gets it wrong. <laughs> I just, I he gets it wrong. Guy, what kind of pirate guy. are you anyway? Well, not a good one. I think it's implied. Also, uh. 
to my left, your right. Mm -hmm. So you have to do the yeah. stage. He's you're exactly. technically upstage a little bit for the audience. We it's do a little bit of stage like terminology. <laughs> Are you playing his theme music? Yeah, yeah. why yeah. not? Bring it on. Ah. <laughs> it's Brian Kelly. He's going to be go. in uh, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Now, give Crowder some benefit. Give Crowder some benefit of doubt here. You can understand why he gets a bit pissy when Callan says he didn't check over the notes because look what he does. He's prepared a little graphic of Brian Callan's up and coming dates. He, they've given him a fucking theme tune, right? In terms of that plays over there, a nice little graphic there with some text where to go and buy his tickets and shit. Like they've put some work into fucking preparing his little slide, his little section of a show. And Callan, all he needed to do was just check over the notes, the itinerary, the docket of what to say during the show. And he couldn't even do that. Look at this. <laughs> See, I'm thinking of the province. Stress factory. May 11th through the 13th. You can go to BrianCallan.com for more dates. Looking forward to tonight? I'm excited. I have my clipboard. I don't know what's on here, but it looks official. So. Well, you would if you did the I'm prep. I'm my finger when I turn the page. Now. They don't call him the best color man in the business for nothing. Just Bob. don't do it with a comic book because that takes its street value from $15,000 to nothing. I, I didn't know. Yeah. I found that out. But it's my saliva yes. and I'm a celebrity, so. So we have a drinking game tonight, by the way. <laughs> cringe, cringe, cringe. Look at that again. You would have known if you'd done the prep. Oh, I fucking love it. The first time he looked at it was when he got there. This factory. May 11th through the 13th. You can go to BrianCallen.com for more dates. Looking forward to tonight? I'm excited. I have my clipboard. I don't know what's on here, but it looks official. So. Well, you would if you did the I'm prep. I'm going to lick my finger when I turn the page. Now. They don't call him the best color, man. <laughs> I fucking love it. You would if you did the prep. Brian Callen, always a fucking cuck. Always doing the bare minimum. And again, this goes, this goes in complete opposition of this whole thing that these comedians have, especially these LA type of comedians, they always talk about being the most hardworking people. No one works harder than me. I work harder. You know, being a stand-up comedian is so hard. We do the most hardest job in the world. We have the pulse of the nation, the blah, 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 blah. Brothers and sisters, most of these guys don't know what hard work is. They sometimes, very rarely, do more than five hours of recorded podcast content per week most of these people have producers they have editors they have videographers i'm doing everything on my own from fucking scheduling this fucking stream that's always late i apologize to making the thumbnails to clipping stuff to titling stuff all by myself they have to just turn up and just be funny on camera for five hours a week sometimes less and they call that hard work some of them don't even write material, new fresh bits when they go perform at flipping clubs. They just give their fans the same tired shit they've heard for years and years and years. They perform it at fucking, on fucking autopilot. They think that's fucking hard work. Come on. And this, you're going to go to a show with a guy who's paying you money. It's essentially a job. It's essentially also an, a bit of an exit plan and a route, right? Out of flipping, um, you know, doing the shit you're doing with Brendan Schaub and maybe evolving as a person because, again, Brian Callan is 50 years old, maybe heading into his 60s. He should be technically doing this type of shit. Yeah, I know it's a little bit cringe. Yeah, I know he's trying to do the whole right-wing grift thing. We understand that. But let's be fair to Brian Callan. He should also be doing this. He shouldn't be talking about guys' dicks and shit and you know, whatever, you know, whatever else he does on the fire and the kid. He's too old for that shit. He should be evolving and kind of leveling up. And this is what he should be doing. But when you level up on this level, you need to kind of bring a bit more professionalism. But he can't do that. Bare minimum, boy. He can't even look over a docket, a couple of sheets of paper, going over the topics and what he should be speaking about. Zero, zero, zero. And I love the fact that Crowder is at least holding his feet to a fire and making him feel awkward about it. I fucking love it. I honestly do. It kind of proves that Brian does actually like being dominated by other men. That kind of, those cuck allegations are never going to die. Anyway, let's end this poll quickly before I play the last Callan clip. Um, what are people saying here? Do you think Brendan Shaw's better stand-up comedian than Joe Rogan? Thank God the trolling has stopped. 48% of people say no. Thank God. Common sense has prevailed. I appreciate all of you people. I was going fucking crazy. <laughs> I thought you guys were being serious. But thank you once again for trolling me effectively. Bravo. Let's end the poll there. Let's end the fucking poll there. Uh, anyway, moving on. Moving on, moving on. Next clip to talk about here, another one of fucking Callan getting cucked out. Um, 
Crowder, obviously, most of you guys know from the Dave Landau shit that he has a button where he presses, where he tells people to shut the fuck up. And it's, I guess it's a comedian shut the fuck up button because usually that seat is reserved for whoever the comedian is that they're going to have on the show um, during that season of the show. And now Brian Callen's the guy. And he doesn't have this when he's doing the show on the live stream, sitting side by side. So he has to do this weird, uh, passive aggressive stare thing and kind of get Callen to shut his dirty stinking mouth, right? So let's try and see if I can get this on here. I'm going to try to zoom in because I know my stuff is blocking the screen a bit. So please forgive me. Let me get it in this way. Hopefully this kind of works a bit for you guys here. Let's do it this way. It's on streamable. So yeah, let's let's see. <laughs> this is Crowder trying to tell Callan without telling him to be quiet. Terrible man. <laughs> so lowest rated month, they fired Brian Stelter. They fired Don Lemon. CNN Plus was canceled after what, two weeks. One, mo uh, less One month. Less than a month, I think. It was less maybe. than a month. Mm. Yeah. So they need Donald Trump, and he really is giving them a leg up. And uh, you guys comment. Look, you tell me what you guys think. I I have two minds about it. Um, I think he should have done it independently first. So you know what I thought, think would have been a great thing to do? And I'm serious. He should have said, pay me a million dollars. Yes. <laughs> For real. Like, you want me on you? You want me on you? Pay me. Pay me. Sure. <laughs> pay me half the uh, advertising revenue. He was just awarded to that crazy broad yes. Carol. Thing. Five million dollars. Pay me, on, I don't know, five million dollars. <laughs> I'll do it. Or maybe five million <laughs> batteries you could give me. He's not funny, Crowder, right? Clearly. But you know what I've realized with the guy, which is quite obvious, especially if you worked with really horrible bosses and stuff, he's clearly the, he clearly wants to be the kind of, oh, no, this is alpha's not the right word. He always wants to remind you that he's in charge. He never plays second fiddle. So when he speaks, you're meant to always quiet. You're meant to be quiet. You're going to calibrate yourself. And I don't know if you guys have worked with managers like that. I've worked with managers like that. You have this, uh, they, they, they can't, they can't ever be one of the boys or one of the, one of the gang. They always have to be like the manager. So you, you know, when they walk in, everyone quiet. When they say stop, everyone stop. Even if they're joking along, if they say stop, it's stop. When it's them to them be funny, they'll be funny. You laugh. So that's the issue that Callan's having. Callan thinks he's talking to a comedian, that they're the same person. They're kind of peers. They're not. Crowder thinks he's better than Callan. He thinks he's like the, you know, he's a master and the head of a network of a production studio, right? He's these big wigs in Hollywood. Like he, that's how he kind of carries himself. And he also has, I feel like he has a little bit of a frustrated comic energy in him. If that makes any sense. Do you guys think that? There's a little bit of a failed stand-up comedian energy. So he wants the stand-up comedian next to him to laugh at his jokes, but he also wants to prove that he's funny. So that requires complete silence for everybody around him. Like, no, 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 I speak. And you see it a lot sometimes in exchanges. He'll he'll raise his voice a couple of octaves, octaves. Right? He'll raise his voice a couple of fucking decibels, sorry. Just to make it known that I'm in charge. You know, just you kind of make it known. Like, it's really, really subtle. Again, if you haven't worked with people who are passive-aggressive, you won't notice it, but he's got a lot of that in him. Let's continue playing the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Pay my legal fees. Yeah. Energizer, none of, that, none of that generic shit. <laughs> so there's two things that I like about this. One, this could be an epic troll, right? Because he knows CNN is going to get absolutely lambasted, right, for this. Yep. And he they already have. Right, and people are going to be mad at him, but pair this with he said he's not going to do the first debate, and the first debate in August is on what network? Fox. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So he's it's a bit of a power play, but it's also a pretty cool troll because CNN can't win. No, they, it's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what so happens is he everybody knows... Everybody who likes CNN he is has, pissed off. <laughs> he knows that they have to watch this ratings, this ratings spike, and then... <sighs> Like a fart in the wind, gone <laughs> forever. <laughs> it really is. I mean, it's yeah. so much more because it's it's more painful to have loved Brian and lost. They say That's some. Right. Touch me again. I love some that. say that. Okay. Well, I don't yeah. want to put battery. Oh, battery. sorry. Well, By the way, your sweater's pilling. Yeah. Hey. You heard a dry cleaning? <laughs> this is cashmere. Cashmere. Notice how I say cashmere? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I got it from the Cashmere Valley, everyone. I, I don't even think they call it that <laughs> That's there. Not That's true at right. all. Maybe not I have no idea. Yeah. Uh, so use that promo. So, so, off on the top so hard. Crowder Town Hall. <laughs> Let us fight at ladderbetter.com slash mug club. <laughs> He's trying to so he did that thing where he invited Brian to talk, but then he went in to shut the fuck up. Listen, listen, do it again. Look, it, it's not even Brian's fault in this one. He kind of gave him an opening. Brian tried to kind of banter, and Crowder was like, No, 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 no. You're not meant to laugh. You're not meant to talk. You're meant just to laugh. 
Yeah, I do. <laughs> I got it from the Kashmir Valley, everyone. I, I don't even think they call it that there. That's, that's, that's true at all. <laughs> Maybe not I have no idea. Uh, so use the Local promo price. from the top so hard. Crowder Town Hall. Sorry. No, it's fine. At ladderscrowder.com slash mug club. And of course, Crowder Town Hall is the hashtag. <laughs> is she preparing right now? The one in the white pants suit? She, is she I don't know you. Look at Kellen's face. Look how uncomfortable he is. Look how uncomfortable he is. Please, once again, please, please, watch Kellen's face. Watch Kellen's face. I got it from the Kashmir Valley, everyone. I don't even think they call it that there. That's not that's true at all. Maybe not I have no idea. Uh, so use a promo code. So soft code. on the top, so hard. Crowder Town Hall. Sorry. No, it's fine. At ladderscrowder.com slash mug club. And of course, Crowder Town Hall is the hashtag. Is she preparing right now? The one in the white pants? Is she uh, we have to screen grab that picture. We have to. <laughs> oh, that's fucking beautiful. That's the best thumbnail. I need that. But yeah, big up Callum, man. He fucking loves getting cucked, man. He fucking loves it. There's something about him that legitimately loves being dominated by other men. I'm convinced of it now. I believe that fucking narrative that exists out there, that Brian Callum is an actual cuck. I believe it. I honestly do believe it. He absolutely loves it. And I think it's cringe person because the guy's in his 60s and Stephen Crowder's like mid 30s and he's essentially letting himself get, you know, rid from being pillow to pose by this guy. Um, but oh my God, this is it. I fucking love it. I really do. Because at least Crowder's kind of holding him to some level of standard. Do the bare minimum of work or you don't get dogged in front of all your friends, mate. That's all you got to do.